Hey guys, what's going on? It's Kenny here and in this video, I want to explain how you can create a growth mindset for yourself. So first, let me explain exactly what a growth mindset is and why it's important for you. So in general, there are two types of mindsets that you can have for life, your learning, your career, whatever you're doing. So there's a fixed mindset and a growth mindset. So let's start with the fixed mindset. What exactly is a fixed mindset? In a fixed mindset, you're always the same. You're never learning. You're never really trying to grow. Things are always the same. You, you probably see people like this every day who do the same job. They take the same route. They never take a different way. and They never think in different ways. They're not really learning and they're not really growing. As opposed to someone with a growth mindset, someone with a growth mindset is always trying to learn, trying to innovate in their lives to change things. So over time, someone with a growth mindset is going to be growing in terms of what value they can provide the world, what their skills are, what their emotional intelligence is, and what they can provide the world. But someone with a fixed mindset, they're really going to be fixed. Maybe they're in the same job for 40 years. Now think about that. Would you really want to be in the same job for 40 years? I know I wouldn't, and it's one of the realizations that I made over the past year. And really getting into a growth mindset where you're learning and, and you know learning about yourself and the world around you really helps you to expand your possibilities. Maybe you want to rise in your business or your career. Well, a growth mindset is definitely going to help you to do that. So it's really simple. The growth mindset, you're just learning. You're expanding your possibilities. The fixed mindset, you're flat. You're always going to be flat. So with that said, if you're in a fixed mindset right now, how do you transition to a growth mindset? Well, it's actually easier than you might imagine, and I want to give you a couple of quick steps for how to actually do this. The first one is to just start reading more or absorbing knowledge. However you, however you best absorb knowledge, maybe it's through audio or video or you like text. Maybe you can listen to podcasts. I got my own podcast. Maybe you can watch videos like these or wh whatever other type of videos you want to watch. Or you can read books. There's millions of books out there. Just Find a subject that you really like or something that you want to learn. Or maybe you don't really know what you like. Just find one at random. Just find something that other people will suggest and see if you like it. This is a small step that you can take. And maybe just by reading 10 minutes a day, just creating short little intervals like that consistently on a consistent basis will help you to create that new habit and to start growing in terms of what you know, what you can do, and how well you actually understand yourself. And that's another one of the key points, is to create new habits that allow you to grow. So asking yourself questions is another great way to start creating a growth mindset. I want to give you a couple of powerful questions that will really help you to instill this growth mindset into your life and what you do. So the first question is, before you go to bed or sometime in the evening, ask yourself the question, what did I learn today? Maybe I learned how to weave baskets underwater. Maybe I learned how to program in Java. Maybe I learned how to fly an airplane, you know, whatever the case may be. You can just think it to yourself or you can write it in a notebook. I would say that when you first start asking yourself these questions or, or just any time in forming a new habit, start with writing it in a notebook. You know, that gets more of your muscles activated than more of the neurons in your brain so that the habit is more ingrained and more effective for when you practice it. So just start with this first question. What did I learn today? Then second, how did I get closer to my goals today? And then the first step for the, this question, of course, is to establish some long-term goals that will keep you motivated and working towards something bigger that you want to accomplish. So that's the other question. How did I get closer to my goals? Maybe I accomplished three to five actions today that took me just a little bit closer. But when you get into the habit of asking yourself this question every day, you're going to take more actions that help you to get closer to that goal. Whatever it may be, maybe you want to be a business owner, maybe you want to be a professional engineer or a doctor or an artist, whatever the case is, use that as your goal and figure out how you're getting closer to it every single day. Now, I want to give you one more really effective step that will help you to instill a growth mindset and that's to start networking. Start communicating with new people who are already doing what you want to do. There, it's a really cliche saying, but, but it really does hold true that you are the average of the five people that you spend the most time with. So if you want to see more change in your life, if you want a better growth mindset, then hang around more people who have this type of mindset. If you hang around a bunch of people who are fixed, who aren't really doing anything or learning or expanding their possibilities, then odds are you're going to be that same way as well. So it's a really simple change you can make, but I know it can be emotionally difficult. 
and sometimes you need support to do that. And so you might need a community of people who also have a growth mindset. And if this is you, if you're an entrepreneur or professional or someone and you always want to grow, then you're welcome to join the Entrepreneur's Creative Advantage Facebook group. You can join for free. Just go on to Facebook and search for the Entrepreneur's Creative Advantage and you can network with other people who have a growth mindset as well. But anyway, with that said, I hope those are some really effective tips that can help you to be to, to learn more, to have a better growth mindset so that you can expand your possibilities reach your full potential, and get closer to your goals. So thank you for watching this video. I really hope that it was helpful for you. Make sure you check out the, the Facebook group, The Entrepreneur's Creative Advantage, and also consider clicking that subscribe button so that you can stay up to date on my latest tips and techniques from our community on how to be more creative and innovative as an entrepreneur and a professional. I'm Kenny, and I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching.